What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. And today, Stephen A. Smith almost shed a tear with Shannon Sharp coming at LeBron for some of his comments. Now, LeBron recently said that his career was going to be his career with or without Miami. And I think he put the word individually in there. So um, I don't want to speak for him. I don't want to say exactly what he meant by that. But it's being interpreted as LeBron is saying, with or without Miami, he would still have four rings. He would still have all these finals MVPs. And he was going to inevitably win four titles by this point in his career. That's how people are taking it at the surface level. So, um, you know, Shannon criticized it and Stephen A. criticized it. We go check out what they had to say. And I'm going to be back with my commentary. Let's peep. Shannon? Yes. Do you agree with what LeBron said about his time in Miami? Hell no, I vehemently disagree. I strenuously disagree with what he said. At the time that he had arrived in Miami, he had two M he had two regular season MVPs and one finals appearance through his first seven seasons. LeBron, do you realize the reason why you got into the GOAT conversation because of what transpired in Miami? You won two more finals MVPs. You more won two more regular season MVPs. You went to four straight finals. LeBron, how can you say that your career was going to be the same without going to Miami? LeBron, I'm not so sure had you not gone to Miami, how do I make a com compelling case and I can argue any case before the Supreme Court? How do I make a case that he's a top five player if he doesn't go to Miami, Stephen A? I don't understand why LeBron wants to be so dismissive. Okay, I get it. You dislike Pat Riley. Pat Riley didn't give you the, 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 the latitude that Cleveland, like the Lakers do. I get everything that you're saying from that aspect. But to sit there and sit in front of a, 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 the media and say your career was going to be the, your career was going to be the career? Come on, LeBron, man. You got to stop this. It's okay to give the Miami Heat the credit that they deserve. Man. I almost caught a heart attack. <laughs> I cannot believe I am so proud of you right now. I thought you were going to disagree. This touches my heart, Jen Sharp. I, can't, I didn't believe you were capable of such a thing. Hey, come on. I know, with LeBron, I mean, we are marching locks. It's supposed to be a debate show. But damn it, ain't no debate here. No. Because you're 1,000% correct. What the hell is wrong with you, LeBron? What the hell is wrong with you? Let me tell y'all something. LeBron James loses. In Boston, when he goes to Miami, how does it happen? You got James Dolan talking about making him a billionaire. That didn't work. You got other teams looking at him. Pat Riley rolled up and put rings on the table. Right. Do, do you want these? Okay. Well, here's how you get them. Now, obviously, I've broken the story about how he's going to end up taking his talents to South Beach. But make no mistake about it. Do y'all understand the greatness of a Hall of Famer by the name of Dwayne Wade? Yes. He was a great player. He was a great leader. But damn it, ain't no debate here. No. Because you're 1,000% correct. What the hell is wrong with you, LeBron? What the hell is wrong with you? Let me tell y'all something. LeBron James loses in Boston. When he goes to Miami, how does it happen? You got James Dolan talking about making him a billionaire. That didn't work. You got other teams looking at him. Pat Riley rolled up. And put rings on the table. Right. Do, do you want these? Okay. Well, here's how you get them. Now, obviously, I've broken the story about how he's going to end up taking his talents to South Beach. But make no mistake about it. Do y'all understand the greatness of a Hall of Famer by the name of Dwayne Wade? Yes. He was a great player. He was a great leader. Let's go back to LeBron's rookie year. LeBron... Every press conference was D. Wade looking right at it, was sitting right next to him. Why was that? Because mentally, despite the greatness of LeBron James as a talent, mentally he was warped. He was scared to shoot free throws. He was scared to really take the bull by the horn. Give me the rock. I'm that dude. I'm that man. Okay? So much so that even after they lost in the finals to Dallas, when Jason Terry was guarding him in the post in the fourth quarter. And don't J.J. Get me Barea. And J.J. Barea. Okay? I know. Como esta, by the way. The bottom line is this. When that happened, the following year, All-Star Weekend, and I've said this many times, LeBron James got the ball in his hands. The late, great Kobe Bryant claps his hands. Let's go and defend them. An exhibition All-Star game to just having a good time. And he threw the ball in the corner, and it was a turnover. And Melo, D-Wade, Kobe, everybody descended on LeBron. What's the matter with you? He was warped. He was, and that is why, Shannon Sharp, 
I haven't given him the title as GOAT because I got to take into account all of those things before you started winning championships. And what I'm saying is that he's been going against Jordan and those brothers right. with that kind of mentality before he ever won a championship. He'd have never won one. They'd have shut it down because they'd have snatched his heart. But because he got to Miami and learned what it took to be a champion, okay. he's been unstoppable since. So we hear Shannon Sharp critique LeBron. And, you know, Sh Shannon has done that before. He talked about when LeBron was coming on the court during Bronny's AAU games, different things, you know. So this is, isn't his first open criticism of LeBron James. So, you know, Shannon, I, I, I can respect what he said, but, you know, Shannon is still from the old school. Even though he loves LeBron, he does have some old school takes, and he doesn't like the discrediting of Miami from LeBron's career. Now, you hear someone like Stephen A. Smith speak, and he says LeBron would have never won against Michael Jordan. That's not as clear as we make it. And I'm going to tell y'all why. If you're talking about LeBron's teams versus Jordan teams as constructed, yes. You know, you look at what he's doing now with, you know, the, the Cleveland teams he's had and different things. And even Miami, you know, that first year, and you look at the way Jordan approached the game, I see what he's saying, and I agree with that. But – what like what team are we talking about? Because if you look at it, you know the Lakers was getting like Magic Johnson in the draft. They, you know, you had Boston getting Bird, and then him going back to college back in the day. So I say that to say that so many variables. You know, um, Bird. You know, he waited to come to the NBA for a year. They were getting the Celtics and the Lakers were getting the top players. You know, Jordan came a little bit after that, but. Um, you know, after those teams had picked. But if, if LeBron, if he's saying LeBron was slightly older and he came out and the Lakers won at LeBron and they brought him in, you know, LeBron never beats Jordan under those circumstances. Or if he teams up and he with Larry Bird and them, say, put it like this, right? And this is the perfect way for me to put it. What if, since we change in time periods, what if you take Lynn Bias out of Maryland, put LeBron there, and then, you know, they draft LeBron in to play with Bird in him. See what I'm saying? So, it, it, that, that's the only reason I say there's so many variables there that we don't know what would have happened in a game. But as far as LeBron saying he didn't need, you know, LeBron, I, I'm going to post, you know, the article right here. Well, it's already posted up on the screen. LeBron was saying his individual career would be the same. And he also said that – um. You know, he only came there to win championships with LeBron. Uh, brother, that's a big part of your legacy. So, you can't say your career would be the same if you came there to win championships to add to your legacy. That that statement, to me, just reading it, um, it, it sounds like double talking to me because there's no way you can help your legacy by going, and you, this is your words, so I'm just saying your words back to you and making sense of them. You can't say you're going there to win a championship and that's all you're going there to do. But my career as an individual would have been the same. I can even agree to some pieces of that. You would have probably even broke Kareem's record faster not playing with Bosh and Wade. I recognize that. I can recognize some things. But you, having a, you being a champion – makes it mean a whole lot more. You know, a champion four times over makes you passing Kareem mean so much more because Kareem got, what, six? So you had to be a champion for it to even hold the same amount of weight as it's holding, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, uh, LeBron, he probably at this point, you know, with him, and, and he's the one that openly says he's the GOAT. So to me – and this is just my personal opinion. Seems like he tries to distance himself from that time period where Dwayne Wade was like his mentor and guiding him, you know, to that champion level. I have no issue with LeBron leaving Cleveland at the time because the Boston Celtics were formidable. People say that's the first big three and LeBron didn't start it, but LeBron went in his prime. Paul Pierce, KG, Ray Allen, only one won, you know, so they weren't this team that were in the finals every year. They went to, what, two finals during that time, won one of them, you know, that that was it, you know, pretty much for them. So, 
Uh, LeBron, I, I, I want to hear what his fans have to say, and I also want to hear what his critics have to say with this. That this, this is a loaded topic. I could go on and on, but you know, I really want to hear from you guys, and I want to learn from your perspectives. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To next time, peace.